What's good guys, Dion Saga here. Yeah, it's been way too long since my last video really. Like I'm sure all 40 of you miss me daily, but I do think I have more interesting stuff to show this time. Like the title suggests, I remade my game from scratch, burned everything down, deleted 4.27. I'm never going back to that. But for a year and so, I've been working on this university themed urban fantasy anime game. Uh, heavily inspired by like Warframe, Jujutsu Kaisen and Genshin, stuff like that you know. And we've been doing devlogs through this and we've had really good feedback. But there was one problem throughout the whole thing. People started asking a lot of questions, questions that were beginning to get to me. Questions like, what about features like multiplayer or mobile versions or cross-platform or what's the final price gonna be like? And hey, those questions are fair. The only issue was, I couldn't package the damn game so my brother in Christ forget about cross-platform because we're not getting a platform. The game was pretty much just solely hypothetical at this point. And apart from that, the reason why I've been away for so long is just because life has really been lifing, man, you know? I've had uh, plans for YouTube and everything even during my long break, but I keep on doing this thing where I wait for the perfect time or when I have all the gear, you know, to start making videos again. But honestly, that's just Aaron Burr levels of procrastination. So recently I just graduated from uni and did really well at uni so I did creative computing which was like software engineering but with creative applications for like art student rejects and from there between moving out settling down finding a job and joining a cult life has been pretty much up in the air. And yeah I did neglect YouTube through all of this but my game was always top priority. Me and this game we, we were locked in. For most of uni though I was really focused on developing that right mindset for a programmer and a creative so i was challenging myself a lot doing things that i thought were hard like exhibitions making a neural network and coming up with the whole e-commerce platform taking place in a vending machine and none of these things are particularly hard but they were optional and whenever i could i knew i just wanted to do something that i thought was difficult and yeah honestly i, I must have been like the goku of programming there you know but now that I'm done with that whole uni training arc, I could really focus on getting this game done for a bit. And whatever power up I received during uni, well it must have been like crack because from there on I would just decide to remake my game from the beginning. And that decision put me on a course that would truly test the limits of my sanity. One of the biggest issues I was having was with the character models. I do like Viroid and the anime style that it gave, but I really wasn't a big fan of the femboy-esque male bodies for every male character. What can I say? I like my men muscular. Wait, 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 pause. And you know, it was fine for a while, but the new version of me is on some Thanos type of hours talking about I'll do it myself. So I did. One thing about me is that wherever I exist, so does a blender hater, but I really had to swallow my pride and open up that godforsaken program and get modeling. It wasn't that hard in the end because I saw a base mesh with proportions that I really liked, so I ended up modeling a character around it and then did female morph targets based off that. Let me just say, I miss when my brain wasn't concerned about shit like morph targets, normal editing, proper topology and inverse hull, you know? Like bro, free me. And yeah, when it comes to the final models, I don't think it's too bad. Like it's not great and there are a lot of issues, but issues that I can fix. And besides that, the biggest issue was that the Vroid wasn't modular. So if I wanted to work on the head model one day and then improve the leg model tomorrow, I could never do that. But with the system I have now, I can, which is really good because I'm a lazy fuck who never finishes anything. Separately, when it comes to the framework of the game, it was pretty messy and pretty lacking. The framework basically handles everything from saving your game, completing quests to spawning Susano dragons. In the past, I was using Omega game framework, which was really good and really put me on to like proper design and subsystems and gameplay tags, which just makes life so much easier. But if you know Unreal Engine, you've probably heard of gameplay ability system, which is this absolute unit of a framework. It's been used in games like Fortnite, Paragon, and even Swords and Magic and stuff. And honestly, it's just flexible. It's like the most powerful and performance system. But it needed C++, which to me, you might as well need a 500 plus IQ and a PhD to understand. I've always stayed away from learning in C++, but now that I'm on that Thanos type of hours, I decided to stop being a and actually just learn it and so far it's been going really well i mean don't get me wrong i will still always avoid the c if i can but it's not like i'm scared of it anymore i just think it's a bit of a drag but it's getting there 
Small things that I avoided in the past, things like hair physics and pulling back the bowstrings, little details like that I've been able to add thanks to that newfound power up and I think it just makes all the difference. Even doing things like multiplayer which I'm still getting the hang of, even though it's frustrating to test, at least now the game is designed for co-op in mind, which my old project wasn't. It's much easier to make a multiplayer game single player than a single player game multiplayer. That sounds like some Sun Tzu type of quote. Don't quote me on that though, I don't know who said it. Matter of fact though, everything's been going really well for this project, which after the one month side quest in the cult, development was looking really good and I'm beginning to feel like I could release a demo soon. So yeah, probably around January, we're looking at the first demo build of Dion Saga's Codex Blaze Apprentice Trials. I actually have a name for my game now. That is the working title. I won't be elaborating on what any of it means. What you gotta know about this demo is it's not like alpha or even early access. Just consider this like a baby, four months in, still buggy, barely even an idea, just about a concept prototype that will definitely crash type B. So we're not gonna be focusing on stuff like, hey, how's the art style or the story? But we're just gonna be looking at the important shit like, does the attack make your brain release happy chemicals, you know? Is the core mechanics actually fun before I spend two years working on it? But. Let's take a quick side break to the inspirational segment for the show. I've been reading a lot of Blue Lock and JJK recently, which I'm gonna say this and it might sound really cringy, but honestly, as people who create things, I feel like we need to develop really big egos. Too many times now I say to myself that if only I wasn't scared of learning something then, I would be so much better at it now. If I could talk about that kind of mentality in a different video, I might, but whether it's making music, art, modeling, or programming, everything in life is like a skill and every skill is a muscle. So unless you've been like amputated, if you train your muscle, even a few times a week, you will get stronger and that goes into skills, you know, but that is guaranteed. So I will release more information about the demo soon once I figure it out. But for now, join the Discord, subscribe, follow me on socials and we can stay up to date and we will figure this out together. Anyway, y'all take care.